Let's talk about laser weapons. Not sci-fi, not Star Wars, I mean the real deal, rolling out on actual military trucks. China has been making a lot of noise in the world of high-tech defense, and their newest export is the SkyShield system. Imagine a convoy of vehicles bristling with radars, jammers, and at the heart of it, a laser cannon called Silent Hunter. Saudi Arabia jumped at the chance to buy one of these systems. After all, drones have been a real problem for them, especially after those massive oil facility attacks a few years back. The promise? Silent Hunter could zap drones with a blast of focused energy, taking them out cleanly and quietly, no expensive missiles needed. But here's where reality kind of bites. In the lab, lasers are great. In the desert, not so much. First up, dust and sand. It turns out these tiny particles floating in the air mess with the laser's aim and weaken the beam. The optical system, basically the laser's eyes, gets scratched up by all that grit. And when the wind picks up, tracking a fast-moving drone is like trying to spot a fly in a sandstorm. Second, the heat. Lasers need a ton of cooling, and in the Saudi desert, most of the system's power gets sucked up, just keeping it from overheating. That means less juice for firing, and longer waits between shots. Let's talk performance. The system was supposed to fry drones in seconds, but in practice sometimes it took up to half an hour of continuous zapping just to bring one down. That's not exactly battlefield ready. Deployment was another headache. The laser is tucked inside a shipping container on a truck and getting it ready to fire isn't quick. Plus, if there aren't long flat stretches of ground, forget about it. No clear line of sight, no shot. So what actually worked? The jamming trucks. These vehicles blast enemy drones with radio interference, scrambling their controls and dropping them out of the sky. In the end, most of the drones that threatened Saudi sites were actually defeated by electronic jamming, not the high-tech laser. Saudi Arabia has asked China to go back to the drawing board, tweak the tech, make it more desert-proof. Until then, the Sky Shield's laser looks cool on paper, but in real sand and sun, it's got a long way to go. China's not alone, by the way. The US and others are also running into the same problems with their own laser weapons. Dust, heat, power, cooling. Lasers might be the future, but for now, the environment is winning. Thanks for watching. If you want more deep dives on tech that's shaping our world, and sometimes being shaped by it, hit subscribe. See you next time.